Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of War Thunder. Um, in this episode um, I'll be doing a guide on how to hit targets in realistic battles after one of my subscribers asked me to do a guide on it. Um, I'll be trying to do the majority of this with realistic battle gameplay. I will show a little bit of mission editor just um, just to sort of um, help a little bit. I'll be showing a little bit of arcade, uh, trying to keep the most of this in realistic but um, I'll be showing how Arcade, um, the lead indicator, can help you to learn, and sort of how to use the lead indicator. Um, I'll explain that a bit um, in a minute. Let's just get the mission editor up. Um, arcade bat We're doing Arcade Battles for the moment. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Um, let's just do Intercept Bombers mission with... Get a few escorts. Alright, enemy bombers to A. Get a few escorts. Try and even the fight up a little bit. Now you'll you'll see in a minute why I'm doing this. Um, because basically the target lead indicator is more of a guide than um, and then an actual where to aim. It's hard to explain, but um, the lead indicator, as far as I'm aware, doesn't account into um, doesn't take into account changes in direction. Alright, let's just skip this. It, yeah, changes in direction. So it's usually better to aim a little bit in front of the lead indicator. Which I'm hoping to show here quickly. Now we've got some BF-109s. Got some Spitfires. Got some other escorts over there. Now I'm just going to quickly catch up with these aircraft. Now, one of the things you also have to take into account is your weaponry. Some, um, your cannons are likely to fire a bit further than your machine guns. So, if you're aiming at the lead indicator and firing all your weapons, some of them are probably going to be missing. Now, right, just trying to get on this guy's tail. I'm trying to get him into a turn fight so I can show. Now, see here, I'm sort of trying to aim a little bit in front of the lead indicator at times not straight at it. I mean, if they're in a straight line, they're aimed straight at it. But if it's in a turn fight, it's usually better to aim a little bit in front of the lead indicator. Um, just see if there's the other enemy fighter. Right. Now, as we can see, we're almost out of um, cannon ammo. I'm firing all of them, because... Uh, now, see, we aimed a little bit in front there and hit him. Now we'll quit the test flight quick because we've I've basically shown the point I was trying to make. But um, now I was firing all of my weaponry. Now usually I know I've just said they sort of um because of the muzzle velocities um they're usually hit in different places. But um usually if you're close enough you they're basically going to hit roughly the same area. But if you're doing long range you may have to into account the fact that your machine guns may be missing or your cannons may be missing. Um, they may sometimes be hitting the same at time. It, it depends on the weaponry, really. I mean, for example, some of, some of the weaponry is quite low muzzle velocity, such as with the 75mm cannon on the PBJ. Obviously, it fires a lot. It, the muzzle velocity of the is a lot slower, so the shells travelling a lot slower. So it wouldn't be make sense to fire that at the same time as the machine guns. Now, we'll quickly do a test flight, but on realistic battles. Um, mission editor. I will be showing um actual gameplay footage of um realistic battles, but this is just to quickly show you, you know, give you a test taste, I suppose, and how it works. Um, get the escorts down again. About ten on ten should work. Yeah, just sorted that out. Now, of course, in realistic battles, you don't have the lead indicator, so all the aiming you have to do yourself, um, which can obviously be a well, you have, it can be a bit hard to do. Um, you don't know how far to lead, you don't know where your shots are hitting unless you have tracer. Now, I, if you've seen some of my video videos, you probably know I use for the most part um, stealth rounds. Now, I've got tracers on here because I haven't fully upgraded the um, aircraft. So but the cannons are using stealth rounds. Now the reason I use these is that unless I'm mistaken, there's some sort of um I think the tracers have a slightly different 
um, trajectory to the rest of the um, bullet. So I'm not. I think it was like that, like that in real life. I don't know if it's like that in the game, but basically, if the tracers were hitting the bullet, the rest of the bullets were missing. If the rest of the bullets were hitting, your tracers were missing. So I just generally prefer to go all stealth, which also has its advantages because um, obviously the enemy doesn't know where you're shooting from straight away. And if you fire and miss them, well, they don't know that. They can only guess from the whistling of the bullets. Now, I missed my first shots there. I mean, I consider myself okay at realistic, but it's still, you know, I'm still not that great. So it can be very hard to hit the target. Now, I'm using my machine guns just to get some ranging in a little bit. I thought we'd been attacked quite badly. Trying to find where the enemy fighters are. Here's one below us. Remember, we've also got, um, because we're in realistic, more, we've got some more realistic flight models, so it's obviously harder to manoeuvre. So it can also, that can also affect your aim. You can't just, um, quickly manoeuvre onto your enemy like you could in, um, arcade. Now, we've got some hits there. It's not telling us when we hit, but we've hit him. There was a bit of smoke there. Now again, I'm sort of saving my cannon, using my machine gun to try and get some ranging shots. Doing quite badly at it. Just get a few, uh, just shoot down a few of them, and then I'll quickly show you some gameplay footage from realistic battles, um, like online. Also, give a little talk on how to um, how your gun convert or oh, your gun targeting ranges. Right, just try and shoot down this fighter. Now again, using my tracers, firing a little bit of cannon, and uh, the planes just because of my wings damaged, it's, just, it's a lot harder to manoeuvre. One of the other things you have to remember about realistic battles is they're also generally quite a bit slower. Or oh, they can be slow if you get into a dogfight. I mean, you can also be destroyed a lot quicker because you've got the more realistic flight models. So yeah, every time I try to get a shot on him, I just my wing goes a bit. Um, well, I can't quite aim at him properly. We'll quickly try and get him one last time. Being shot at. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose my wing soon. Even for relatively easy shots like this, you can still miss quite badly. Right, we're going to leave this aircraft. Well, I'll quickly leave the whole hangar, because you know roughly what... Although I did quite badly there, you know roughly how what I was getting at with the aiming. Now, here's some um, footage of me in a realistic battle. Now, as you can see, I'm still using the Spitfire Mark 5B. Um, it's over Berlin, I believe, so we're against Russians. Um, plus some premium aircraft from the Americans. Now, getting quite near to the enemy, just about 1.7 kilometers away from the nearest one, or 1.2 now, I'm in quite a bit of a dogfight with other aircraft, and I've managed to get after this Yak-1B. You can see there I've just fired and completely missed. I'm not sure why I even took that shot. Just trying to maneuver to get a good shot, getting near, but not quite near enough. Starting a get on his tail a little bit, but he's starting to outrun me, so I need to get a bit nearer. This is post-commentary, so I'm sorry if I'm misremembering certain things. Just starting to dive down on him, getting nearer. And you can see I'm trying to aim in front of him, but I just can't... And I'm aiming roughly in front of him where we should, where I should be aiming, but I just can't get sight... I can't get it... I'm, I'm the right distance in front, but not actually in front of him. I'm a bit to the left or right. But here I've managed to get quite near to him. He's flown straight into my target in indicator of open fire and done a bit of damage to him. Got near him again, took a few shots, missed, but he's going down now. There's not much he can do to recover from this. I've got a few more sh hits into him just to try and get him down a bit more because I wasn't entirely sure if he was going down or just trying to avoid me at this point, but by, yeah, but by now I could see he was going down, he wasn't going to pull out of that. And yeah, he died. So as you can see there, I didn't actually 
he sort of flew into my targeting indicator and I opened fire on him. And that's something you, you know, it's a good way of trying to take out an enemy. If you can try and anticipate where they will be and put your indi targeting indicator there, then you'll, you know, you'll do quite well. That's one of the ways of doing it. I mean, it's, hard, it's quite hard to teach how to hit your target in realistic battles. It's something you sort of like. Um, it's something you have to sort of like it's instinct like learn for yourself I mean this can help a little bit but it's not something that can be taught exactly now I'm coming up for another enemy aircraft that's um trying to shoot one of ours that's landed again aimed in front just enough in front of him fired a few shots still got enough cannon and machine gun ammo here now I was quite lucky here he didn't seem to realise I was there and even after this I think he still ignored me and went after that landed aircraft which was good for me because he didn't fight back. Bad for him, the landed aircraft, because he... Um, well, actually, no, he survived. Um, the enemy aircraft crashed and I got the kill for it. I uh, put a few shots into him just to make sure, you know, just to get see if I could get some more hits on him, a bit more points. Now, at this point, the um, I didn't get any more kills. I, managed, I crashed on the way back to the airfield. But so, that... Mate, one of the main lessons learned there, try and anticipate where your enemy will be, um, so you can, you know, get a good shot on him. If you can, try and sneak up on them, I suppose, because if they're not doing evasive manoeuvres, they're a lot easier to hit. And I suppose another t hip, uh, hint I would use, don't um, use your cannon ammo, unless you sort of guarantee to shoot. I mean, get the hit, not to shoot. Because obviously you've got a limited supply of it in realistic battles. Now I've, the 7.7mm machine guns aren't going to do much damage. But you can... If you can get some hits on them... You know, if you think you can get a hit on them... Then with the cannon, then do it. But if you don't... If you use the machine guns, you've got a lot of it. If you miss, you miss. If you hit, you've done a bit of damage. Which is better than no damage. Now here we've got another realistic battle. But with a slight difference. So I'm using the Americans. Now they... um more accustomed to boom and zooming than um, manoeuvre fighting, turn fighting like British are. So obviously this requires different tactics and this is affects um, your targeting. Obviously, because if you're using it to use strengths you'll be diving down on the enemy rather than turn fighting. Which can make it a little bit easier to anticipate where the enemy's going to be if they're travelling in a straight line. If they see you and they start jinking about it could be very hard to get your, get back on target again. Which can obviously be, well, it's obviously not something you want to happen. Now, skip forward a little bit because obviously you don't want to watch me just flying all the way to the battle. Um, just flying, I was just flying around a bit, quite high altitude, 5,000 meters. Spot some guys down low, start diving on them. Now, I didn't quite get a shot off during the initial dive, unfortunately. Because, um, like I said, it is quite hard to do when they're already maneuvering. This one, for example, is already chasing a B-25. It was t unfortunately too late to actually catch up with him. And because of the cloud cover and the ground cover, it, well, not the ground cover, but um, it's started losing the target a few times. Now, I eventually regained the target. You see me trying to turn, but by this point, he's already sort of moved too far out of the way for me to be able to dive in him properly. So I try and get on his tail. But like I said before, American aircraft, big, slow and heavy, extremely hard to manoeuvre them. And then I've also got other aircraft in the vicinity, an I-185. I believe there was another aircraft nearby. One of my friendlies has turned up if you look on the mini-map. But like before, I start sort of anticipating where he's going to go. I'm trying to fire just above him. But he unfortunately missed. Now I left that one and went for the I-185 I believe. Because this one was already flying, there you see, um, had my target indicator, didn't move it much, just let him fly into the tar yep, target indicator. When he got near enough I opened fire and damaged his fuel tank. Now obviously not critically damaged, or not too much critical damage, it only the fuel tank will only really affect him if he's far away from his base and he has a low fuel amount of fuel does make him a bit easier to see. Use some of my machine gun fire to try and critically damage him. Now at this point I must have damaged him in some way, he was doing evasive manoeuvres. Managed to quickly just get up behind him, open fire of the cannon and machine gun. 
Now you can see he was quite, he wasn't moving much, and I had speed on my side, so it was easy to just quickly get um, near him, sort of get the target indicator in front of him. It's hard to know how far to aim. Like I've said, um, you can practice a little bit in arcade battles; that could help. But um, really, it's just like I said before, it's instinct. You need to. It's something you have to sort of um, learn through experience. I mean, I hope this does help in some ways, but. Um, yeah, so it's not um, something you can easily learn. But now I ended up losing this match. Um, well, on the way back to the airfield, got ambushed by about three enemy aircraft. Got destroyed pretty quickly. So, um, couldn't really do anything about it. So um, we're in the video, this bit, this little clip here, and I'll quickly move on to the last bit of um, trying to lead your target. Now the last thing you have to take into account is the gun targeting distance. Now, I believe from looking online, this is your convergence. Um, you basically, um, it's dep it changes where your guns are set horizontally. So, say you set it um, 500 meters. If you've got wing-mounted weapons, they should crisscross at about 500 meters. So, obviously, that's um, going to put all your firepower in that one spot, 500 meters. But um, I don't think it takes effect in arcade, and I've never really um, tweaked with the um, options myself. Not entirely sh I mean, I always assumed it was the lead indicator, but apparently I'm wrong with that. Um, it might move a little bit, but... Um, yeah, so if you want to kill an enemy at close range, you set your convergence to closer. If you want to kill them at long range, set it to further out. I've got it to 500 meters, a good middle point. If you want to sort of hit the target um, that's nearer to you, aim a bit more in behind. want to hit him a bit further out, aim a bit more forward. And it should... Um, work itself out I'm hoping. Now the last option we've got is vertical targeting which um, you can see I've set as no. Um, apparently this uh, if you've got it on it will compensate for your shell drop at the um, distance you've set above. Um, so it rang and or it angles your guns upwards a little bit to compensate for the bullet drop. Um, but yeah it depends on your convergence setting. Um, it's. I've never really touched it. I've never used it. I'm not entirely sure, like how it would help. I mean, I know how it helped, but um, I've never used it. Um, yeah, you may have to experiment with it yourself. I don't think it would have any effect in arcade again, but probably more of a historical battle thing. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to comment on that. Um, sort of experiment it with it yourselves and um. Yeah, that would probably be the best way for you to do it. Because, like I said, I've never really used it. I don't think I've ever touched it um, since I've played the game. I might say it to know when I first got it, but yeah, never really touched it, so I can't really comment on it too much. So yeah, that's the end of this video, really. Um, some of it hasn't been as helpful as I hoped it would be. Haven't really done the guide on how to um, shoot down enemy aircraft before, um, so I'm quite new to this. Um, sort of guide myself um, plus it's like I've said throughout the video it's all something you learn through instinct and experience hopefully it will help you new people out there um, I learned a few tips from the forums because I used to be useless at shooting down targets in realistic battles I'm still not too great at it I get off lucky shots but I'm not exactly a master at it if I'm honest um, like I said instinct and experience is probably the best way to learn it but hopefully this can help a little bit um, like the video if you liked it, um, subscribe if you um, like these sort of videos, leave feedback, because uh, I can always do with feedback on how to improve my videos, and just thank you for watching, I hope to see you out there, hope this guide has helped, and I'll see you next time.